This demonstration shows how to inoculate a fresh broth from a culture plate. We start with a fresh tryptocase soy broth labeled with the full name of the organism, the date, your initials, and your section number. Be careful not to lay the tube down flat while labeling as the lids may not be tight and you could risk the broth leaking out. We're using a bacteriological loop for this procedure and we start by sterilizing it in the incinerator. Sterilize the length of the wire by heating it until it glows orange. Then remove the loop from the incinerator and allow it to cool so that it doesn't kill on contact the bacteria you're trying to transfer. Holding the loop in your dominant hand, open the culture plate and obtain some bacteria on the cooled loop by touching the center of a well-isolated colony. You don't need very much. Close the original culture plate. Then pick up the broth tube. Still holding the loop, remove the cap from the tube with the pinky figure of your dominant hand. Place the loop containing the bacteria from the colony you touched into the broth, trying not to touch the open edges of the tube. Once the loop is submerged in the broth, twist it back and forth between your fingers to release the bacteria into the liquid. Remove the loop from the broth, replace the cap, and place the tube in your rack. Then incinerate the loop to sterilize it, heating it slowly to prevent any spatter from the liquid that remains on the loop. Your tube is now ready for incubation.